Okay, we got OCCT version 3.0.1. I'm gonna let it run infinite. So we'll start stressing the CPU right away. Temperature is 30, uh, 34, uh, 34 degrees Celsius right now. I don't know how believable that is. This chip has always been very, very cool. Although, I'm touching the CPU heatsink and it's not heating up, but it's really hard to tell if the, uh, the sensor or the readings from the CPU is anywhere close to correct. So, we're running at 3.85 gigahertz at 1.57 volt. It reached 1.59, but it's probably slow. Aw, oh, it's not stable. Well, we're back to 3.8 gigahertz, and we're gonna find out if a 3.8 is any stable compared to. Well, no, not compared to. We're going to see if 3.8 gigahertz, if, if it's any stable, at this overclock. Okay, 3.8 gigahertz, same voltage, and let's see if it's any stable. Ah, oh, only made it for two minutes. God damn it, back to the drawing board. Hey, it just passed 10 minutes. It's running at 3.78 gigahertz. Hi, Goldie. Seems pretty stable at this speed. So, 3.78 gigahertz is the most stable highest clock speed that I can find from this motherboard and this CPU combination. Send and bench 9.5 at default speed. See how it does. Twenty six seconds. And that's a score. That's actually a very big difference. Seven seconds of difference between three point eight five gigahertz and two point eight gigahertz. Okay, CPU is open at two point eight gigahertz it's default speed. And then we'll try super pipe. Twenty seven seconds. Six seconds of difference. 